become more clients intensive. And she's done some really cool things. In the last three months, she has brought in over $20,000 in sales and she made her biggest sale to date just the other day for $12,000. And so I'm bringing her on here to talk about what's working for her and just to get her advice in growing business right now. Because while other people are pulling back, she's doing awesome. So I'm gonna bring Jess up here. It's gonna connect her in just a second. Hey Jess, how you doing? Hello, good, how are you? Doing well, thanks so much for coming and for doing this, really appreciate it. Thanks for having me, I'm super excited. My first ever live. <laughs> Real seriously? Yeah. Oh, I'm now I'm honored. Now this this <laughs> yeah. is like gonna go into history books. Just the first live <laughs> video. All right. Well, cool. So, give us a little bit of a uh, of some background about you. Like, how did you get into this business? What exactly do you do? Tell us about yourself. Tell us about Copy Fox. Sure. So, um, it's a fun story actually. Um, I started by moving to Thailand. So four years ago, I left the country. I left my nine to five job, all my friends, my car, my apartment, everything. I moved to Thailand. I was teaching English there for six months, but I was really bored because we only taught like 20 hours a week. So I had like another 20 hours a week of time to fill. And I lived in a very small village, so really nothing to do. Um, so I started like looking up ways I could make money online. And I found Upwork, which I'm sure people know as like kind of a scammy thing, but I didn't really know anything about it. I applied and I got the first job I applied to, which was writing a thousand word blog post for $10. <laughs> which I would never like now it's a minimum a hundred dollars for a 500 word post. But at the time I thought it was amazing. And to be fair, if you live in Thailand, 10 Canadian or 10 us dollars is a lot of money in Thailand. So I took it and um, it didn't really like pan out too much. I made a bit of money here and there, but I got so into the idea that you could actually make money on your laptop and Thailand and a lot of Southeast Asia is like a hub for what we call digital nomads. So there was tons of co-working spaces and tons of uh, workshops. So I started going to these like female entrepreneur workshops and really getting involved in the community. And when I finally ran out of money a year later, I had to come home. So I came home, but I vowed to not work nine to five. And that's like what started the journey of me getting here four years later. <laughs> That is, uh, I did not know that. That is, uh, I was surprised. That's awesome. That's a really, that is a really cool story. So, so, so you caught the bug for like digital marketing. So, uh, yeah. And someone else is, ju is jumping in saying you're killing it. And that's so cool. Oh, thank you. Um, so yeah, tell us, tell us a little bit more about like, uh, so now that you're doing this full time, this is what you do. Uh, we know, you know, we'll get to like what's going on in your business, but like what services are you providing now and what got you to start providing those services? Yeah. So um, then I started working like part time online jobs that weren't paying well enough. And I kept looking, kept looking. And then I finally got my big break on a Facebook group. Um, this digital marketing agency was hiring a copywriter. So my job was to write 10 posts a day um, for one client, which was a lot, a lot, but it really helped me practice and do everything. And then I started seeing like the services she offered and what was going on. And I ended up like working my way up, working my way up. And I got became a full-time employee with her and I worked with her for two years, but sadly I was laid off due to lack of work. Um, but then it started to, that was like the final push I needed to start my own business. And I started to see like what worked for her business, what didn't. And now I offer email marketing, blog posts and social media marketing campaigns on all the major platforms LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. That is so cool. It's so cool to see, you know, this journey that you went on. So first of all, what's really standing out to me is just like, I love how you just like, this is what you want to do. And so you did it, right? You know, like you want to go live abroad. So you went and did it. And then like, you're like, hey, no, this is cool. I don't want to get a normal job. So I'm going to do, I'm going to find this, this alternate work. And then you got laid off. You're like, you know what? I'm just going to do this myself. And uh, that's, that's just, I think says a lot about your personality and about your, you know, bravery and just getting out there and getting stuff done. It's really, really cool to see, to see that. Oh, okay. So sorry, go ahead. But I'm, I'm very Aries. I'm like just stubborn and I'm like, I'm going to do this. And if anyone tells me no, then just watch me do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, awesome. So, so, okay. So right now your business is kind of exploding, right? The other day you just closed a really big deal yeah, and uh, your, your business has been bringing clients pretty consistently. There are other people out there right now who are kind of pulling back. So what's working for you right now versus, you know, well, what, what's working for you right now? Let's just stop the question there. Yeah, well, I got lucky because my business is all about bringing your business online and building a beautiful online presence and a great brand reputation. So people have started to see because of the pandemic, the importance of being online. Now it's a lot harder to do face-to-face -face marketing. It gets a lot harder to like go door to door. It's, 
you're not allowed to do these things. So they're seeing that the alternative is what I offer. Let me get you online. Let me get you a website. Let me give you amazing blog posts to drive traffic to that website. Let's build a reputation on social media where you could, that's like gold because not only can you like build your presence, but you get to interact with your community. You get to talk to them, you get to comment, you get to go live, you get to do these real time things. And it just, it helps so much. And people are starting to understand that. So it's made my job a little bit easier because I don't have to sell them on why they need to be online. And mm. uh, I'm just being consistent. Consistency changed everything for me. Like now I've taken your advice. I go so hard on Smito. I do it every single day, five days a week. And that's what I wasn't doing before. So that really, really changed the game. Awesome. So there's a couple things that I love about what you just said. First of all, you dropped the word Smito, which mm -hmm. like, it, like it's casual conversation, which I love that because that's a word from our program. So yeah. we'll explain what Smito means in a second for everybody else. And by the way, the proper way when you say Smito is Smito. <laughs> yeah, you know, a little distance and yell it. Yeah. Um, okay. And then the second thing that I'm kind of taking away from what you just said is uh, and I think, you know, you're saying you got lucky, but I don't know that it's so much luck as really, really good positioning. Like you've got an offer that people want and you've positioned it in a way where it's like, you know, I think there's, not that you're capitalizing off of this crisis, but there's always opportunity in every difficulty. And instead of saying, oh, I got shut down because it got difficult, you're saying, no, this is the perfect time to do this work. And I think that is a killer mindset. And also it's allowed you to create this offer that is just irresistible to your clients, where it's like, it's something that sells, even though the economy might be restricting or even though people might be pulling back, they're still looking at what you have to offer and they're, they're leaning into it. So, okay, you said consistency and you said Smito. So for those of you that don't know what Smito is, I mean, you don't have to tell us, you don't have to go into details about it, but like, what are you, what are you talking about? What what is this? What is it? What does consistency have to do with it? What's what's working for you in particular to get in front of clients? Yeah, so it's social media outreach. So I use LinkedIn personally. I've had better results than Facebook, but I every single day I go on LinkedIn and I add people that are my target audience. So I try to add at least like fifty to one hundred people, and then I message minimum ten to twenty a day, just explaining what I do and how I can help them. And now I've just changed my message to be super short, and I just say to them like. Hey, I help people in your industry um, amplify your digital presence to, have, to attract more clients. Um, can I be of service to you during this uncertain time? And I feel like people have really reacted positively to that. Even some people who have said no are just like, thank you so much for thinking of me, like not at this time, but I'll keep you in mind. And like, I, I don't get people being angry or anything about it. Yeah, I think that's cool. I think, you know, you just dispelled, like I think a lot of people are really hesitant sometimes to reach out through social media. But like I, what you just, the way that you are reaching out to people and the message that you're sending to them, it's just like, you're really cool to, uh, you're, you're, you're not like being pushy. You're just saying, Hey, this is what it is. And I think I can help you. And I love to see, see that response coming back to you. So what do you think is like the biggest difference? Like you look at your business before you started working with me, you look at it now, like what are, what's the biggest difference do you think going through the Lambert Clients Intensive has done for you? Um, it's definitely held, held me accountable. So accountability is one thing that it's hard when you're your own boss and you have no one above you to like say, hey, did you do this work today? It's so hard. But every week we have our calls and we have to fill out the tracker. So like, you don't want to be embarrassed. I don't want to be embarrassed. I'd write zero, zero, zero every week. <laughs> so like it forces me to be like, okay, I better do something so I can say that I did something and I can write these numbers. So that helped a lot. And mindset, just like, I love having the weekly coaching calls because sometimes when you're feeling down or something or you don't or you're confused, you have like a really good platform to ask your questions and get expert advice. Like your program helped me so much. And I'm actually so happy to say this because I've never been that person. So I've always like I've spent money on like tons of things that never panned out. And I always read these amazing reviews like this online course changed my life. This uh -huh. program changed my life. And I've never been that person. I've always like been that person that spent the money and kind of half did it, half didn't finish it, and it didn't really work. And I finally get to be like, this program changed my <laughs> life. So please, everyone, if you're thinking about it, business coaches can really be worth it. And I recommend Craig more than anyone. Like I've, awesome. I've really loved it. What do, you, what do you think the difference is? That's interesting that you said. So first of all, thank you. I appreciate that. What do you think the difference is between like what we do inside the Landmark Clients Intensive and like those other ones you did that didn't necessarily pan out the way you wanted it to? Yeah, so um, some are just online courses and then there's no accountability at all. It's like completely self-paced. You buy the course and you can finish it whenever you want and you just have to do it yourself. So 
even though the some of the courses were really good, it's not the person. It was just me. Like I just never followed through. Like I did a cold emailing course and I never sent one cold email. So I don't know if the course was bad. And maybe if I sent the email, <laughs> it would have worked. Um, but then I did have another business coach, and it wasn't that he was bad, but his style just didn't really work for me because he was also like he was very much more about mindset, which at the beginning I didn't think mattered for me. So I was like, it, this kind of feels like online therapy more than business coaching. And then he uh -huh. kind of just gave you a bunch of scripts and was like, okay, now do it on your own, which is cool too. Like some, it worked for some people and I'm not like, he's good. But just for me, I was like, I wanted more guidance. And with you, I get that. Like we have the weekly calls every single week. Um, with him, it was more just like, here, do it now. And if you have a question, we can get on a call. And then it always made me feel like I didn't want to waste his time or book a call just to ask a small question. Um, and I love the group aspect, actually, because then you get to bounce your ideas not only off you, but off other people going through the same thing as you. And it also kind of gives yeah. a little bit of a competitive edge, like which I like, too. <laughs> I'm competitive a bit. So yeah, like, really you, know, cool. oh, you made a sale. Well, I also made a sale. <laughs> 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 well, really cool. That, that That's awesome to hear because I think, you know, I put a lot of focus on implementation and it's cool to hear that that's what made the difference for you is that focus on make sure we actually do the work and guidance around those things. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. Jess, you're killing it. Really love to see your success. If someone wants to work with Copy Fox, they want to work with you, you know, who would be a great client for you and then where can they find you? Yeah, so right now all my uh, clients are in the real estate industry. So I help uh, real estate developers amplify their digital presence to sell more units, um, whether that's to rent more units or to sell condos and things like that. Uh, although I'm happy to help really anyone who needs uh, some type of online presence, but that's like where my expertise lie right now. And if those type of people wanna find me, please send me a message on LinkedIn, Facebook, or visit my website at copyfox.co. And we put uh, your website in the description. So if you're interested in, in going to her website, just click on that link and you'll you'll be taken there. Awesome, Jessica. I really appreciate you coming. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll wrap it up there, everyone. Until next time, take some fast focus and perfect action. We'll talk soon. See ya. Thank you so much.